Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Hi guys, I'm I'm going to be doing the technical stuff for the stream this week to the most part, so if it all breaks, shoot Pop me. It one. I could go to jail. Maybe. Director Connor. Um, been doing a lot of cleaning recently. Nice. And special guest. Hello, is I, 74 Rays. Wow. <laughs> that was not a very exciting intro for a guest of the podcast. Whoa. Whoa. That was Welcome. like a really low key hello. Yeah, I don't know how many podcasts make the guests introduce themselves. Yeah, see? I'm this just the, like, as that happened, I realized it's hard to that hype yourself up, right? Don't, I'll do that again. We have and to do it every week. Okay, how, what do you mean? We have we're to hype ourselves up. Yeah, but we're not week. guests. Well, I'll That's do it. worse. And special guest. 74 <laughs> Hello. Dude, that Yo. reminded me of See, epic rap battles better. of history. That was better? Yes, because I'm, I can come and be like, hi, like, hello. You know? <laughs> oh, that's good, actually. Now I'm glad oh, we did okay, it that good. way. You said hi, hello. That really hyped <laughs> no, it up. Dude, that got us going a bit. Now we're, we're into it now. <laughs> yes. And uh, I could go to jail technically for what I've just done. What What's that? Do? Well, like, we've broken in to, to Zach's house. Zach's not here. But I think you got... Oh, that's we, true, actually. We got permission, though. Don't don't say how we got in, because then other people are going to come break in. Okay, but yeah, we've, we've used the keys. and We know a vital <laughs> design for him. Which, um, <laughs> we know a vital <laughs> design for him to jester. <laughs> turns out windows are breakable. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so, should we mention that Zach is has gone, and or should we mention? Yeah, permanently. That? Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be a new and improved podcast. Yeah, from now on. yes. So like we finally got rid of him, uh, and then we kidnapped him and put him in a suitcase. Yep. with bananas. With bananas, <laughs> and now we're in his house, and it now belongs to me. And, and oh yeah, we turned off the lights. Uh, audio yeah. listeners, it's a really dimly lit. This is something I've always wanted to do, but Zach always says no because he's a uh, he's like the videographer photographer of the group. Yeah, and he's a bit of a stickler for good lighting. You yeah. know what I mean? Like his videos are always extremely well lit. Like, yeah, and, uh, what a bastard! It's it's good because it helps our videos, but sometimes I just want to get a mood. Sometimes you just want to eat ice cream for dinner. Yeah, and that's what yeah. we're doing. You got to no, 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 test equivalent. it. Yeah, no, no, it's breakfast for dinner because it's still acceptable. You know, oh. I feel like oh. yeah, ice cream for dinner is like you kind of like it's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah, like it's not an acceptable. It dinner. isn't really no. okay. I think it's acceptable, but I think it's okay once off. Oh, once <laughs> little off. tree. But you could die if you kept doing it. Yeah, if you did it every day, but we're not going to dimly lit ourselves every day. I would like to start it. I think we start a poll: dim lights or or not, or bright lights. It really puts me in the mood to just chill you know chill. and orange is also my favorite color so i feel like it's just like hitting me real good oh dude it's orange and blue you're two very colors where's the blue the oh, back yeah. behind oh, us shit. Look out. damn it, that's why you love it damn okay um, i'm all on board do you think we're gonna be susceptible to being too chill today is there such thing yeah of yeah course. can I get you too describe chill. what happens when you get too chill wait, jackson wait. don't no one talk that's not my version of chilling How's that? No, that's the most chill you can do. Is no, no. Like nice. when I'm chill and I'm just like, I'm just because my natural state is talking shit. Right. That's my not, natural state is not being quiet. That's not chill. So if that's just chill for me. It might not be chill for you. Like so what's your chill? What's your chill? Something about that sentence. No, no, no. no. It's just, it's really funny because it's so accurate because like we talk about this in like being in a different circle with like our Frisbee circle being quiet people. And right. so I feel like Peter is a massive outlier in that crowd of being just a non-stop shit talker yeah so his <laughs> oh, natural dude, state is like bad. extroverting right. like hard and i don't know i think it's just like always throwing a joke at the wall is pretty good and it's funny and i think it's a good quality yeah is thank that a god. hot take you know no it's not a hot take it's yeah. your opinion it's that's allowed take. luckily yeah thank yes. god that's sophie's opinion yeah, otherwise yeah, we'd yeah. have some <laughs> relationship issues It'd be more of a hot take if you didn't like it yeah and true with Peter. that but would be the hot take the problem is is when you forget to turn that off when you're just with people you don't know that well yeah sure. does this happen to you guys or is this just no, a me problem I'm not, i don't make jokes all the time i like to just <sighs> you don't you, yeah. I, I thought that you would be the more joker than peter why just the vibes. Because, yeah, sure. your vibes... You're just funnier. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you got more material, so it's a bit embarrassing for Peter to do that. Yours no. so <laughs> radically strange and it's hilarious like me yes you oh wow okay so you because Damn, you're getting called out yeah this like, dim light's got me a bit exposed ironically the message you put in the chat that sorry that uh peter told me what chat last night about like talking to oh, so, okay, i'll just explain it. we have a work meeting after this where we're in a discord call yeah. yes and 
they post the reminder 12 p.m. tomorrow, and you're just like, gonna be a great meeting. <laughs> That's yes. a good message. It's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> I thought they didn't reply either. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, I didn't even see that. There's yeah. nothing wrong with saying it, but it's just such a strange thing to do. Just be like, really looking forward to this meeting. Uh, <laughs> I originally wrote, gonna be a chill as shit meeting. <laughs> Backspaced and wrote, gonna be a great meeting. Gotta keep it a bit professional. Yeah, so yeah, you like, adjust to your context a bit yeah, more than yeah, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, Peter would have just written, got a chill ass meeting. What did I just say? We're gonna have a chill ass meeting. Gonna have meeting. a great meeting or yeah. something. Gotta have a great meeting. It's a good message. Do you this throw is... stuff at the wall at Frisbee and then they all just look at you? Oh, sometimes. Um, most of them land. Oh, but that's when, good when you have like a one in 10 not landing ratio, that one is it devastating. <laughs> like, is the there nine pity laughs or it's silence? Oh, no, just silence. Mm. Yeah. I think as long as you're above average, that's good overall. Um, God, no. God, no. Wrong. Yes. If someone's in a room and they're just doing 10 jokes, just rapid firing, you're laughing at half of them, you are then like that's being And then they make like a, yeah. not talking. No, it's not above. You, you need to be hitting 70% plus. No way. Yeah, definitely. definitely. How? You guys focus on the negatives too much. It's even. No, because it, you don't realize like how much like negative sticks in your brain. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. You're focusing no, on no, that too like, much. Humans have a thing called negativity bias, right? Mm. Where you remember just ignore that. Jordan, you're a human. <laughs> uh, let's pretend uh, you're no, a human. Let's, let's, away. let's just pretend it you're not tough. an alien for it a second. Yeah. Okay. Right. Most human. This is something you can send to the mothership. Yeah. Most humans tend to remember the bad things. They stick with you more. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll let I'll let my people know. Yeah, let the people know. <laughs> it's also we gotta get we gotta get above seventy percent when we come to Earth. I think it's much more than seventy. Is unders, yeah. I think. I think nine out of ten is pushing it. You but need sure, to be you can nine work ten. around that. What do you mean? the Dalai Lama's like? Oh man, that one chick wasn't about about my speech. It's different. I'm talking about jokes. Oh. It's very easy to be nice. Yeah, because you can't go wrong. And there's no like mm. you can very visibly hear when no one finds it funny because there's no laughs. Oh, Whereas there's it's a bit more subjective when you tell a speech and it's like, do people like that? I'm not sure. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? There can be like a zero out of ten where it's like no laughs. And yeah. you know what's there's actually negatives on the scale too, which is negative body language. Oh. When you hit a joke and people start to go like, Eey. I'm gonna get out of this conversation. And yeah, just do a like bit of a walk away. That's yeah. like a mm. minus three. They pull out their phone. <laughs> yeah. Well, Huge oh, L. That's bad. When they're like, Oh, where is everyone? Everyone, where's everyone else gone? And they sort I'm just of gonna, I'm just going to see away. what um, James is doing. Oh, I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mum? <laughs> <Answer the phone. laughs> I suddenly need to no go to the bathroom you. and so does everyone else. No, yeah. but it was funny because we had Frisbee regionals on the weekend. So like the state championships basically for my Frisbee team. Right. And I wanted to try and set up a live stream for it because that's like something they do at high level tournaments is like live stream the games. Right. And yes my club has like a live stream game from one of our nationals years ago. And yeah. it's the only live stream we've ever had. And it's because it's the only video of us playing. It's like a meme at this point. Cause everyone's watched like 50 times. Yeah. Cause oh, it's wow. just like our one chance. And you guys know like the timestamps. Yeah. Cool shit. And it's just like the commentators <laughs> lines are yeah. just like become in jokes. Great. And I was like, Wait, there's commentators. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's hype. It's like, it's just Wait, like, why a, is it not usually live streamed then? Because nobody has the facilities to do so. Oh, like it's only at a very high level. Live streaming oh. sports kind of difficult. It's hard oh, yeah, compared to like Smash Bros. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash Bros. is extremely common, but you're already all on computers and shit. Yeah, it's yeah. just one thing you. And you're need. in a room with a video mm. capture device. Yeah, and you're, like camera optional. You know, it's like. Yeah. But here, so I was like, I want to set it up. So I tried to do this right, and I did get like the live stream going. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Yeah. But anyway, and I was like, yeah, I'll jump on commentary while I'm setting it up before we do my game. Yeah. And I went played my game, so I couldn't commentate. And I was just like commentating and I have experience commentating yeah. from Smash oh, and, well ahead. and, you know, things. And it's, but it's just my normal state. Yeah. And then all the people like afterwards, they're like, wow, your commentary is pretty good. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it turns out my endless talking shit actually yeah. does have a use. <laughs> it's paid off. <laughs> it's like, normally I'm just talking shit and nobody's responding and that's a bad thing. Yeah. Now it's a good thing. Yeah. So yeah. It I'll, is a skill that you can build up like anything else though. Like I feel like now if I went to like a local tournament and commentated, I'd be way better oh, than be I sick. was like when I was new. The bar's on the floor for the most part. They let pretty much anyone on, which is good because you get to try. It's a bit yeah. of a tester because not many people are watching anyway at the end of the day. It's like, if it's your local scene, it's like the 10 people who didn't make it, mm. they're just having a look. Yeah, you and know, I would love to get into... Sorry, go on. Oh, sorry. Um, I was going to say another thing that I feel like is more that would increase your entry level to this is that I felt was streaming, that talking to the wall oh, yeah. Yeah, for hours, yeah. creating videos, like just yeah, talking to a camera like and nothing and no responding gives you like training and experience to be confident in this. Mm, so I was does. like, wow. Yeah. No, part of the reason I wanted to set up the live stream is I wanted experience commentating because like one nationals a while ago, they were like put out EOIs for doing commentary. Yeah. 
but nobody knows me. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. it's like if it's nationals, most of the teams are on the other side of the country yeah. and they pick the person who knows everyone. Makes and so I, I like, it's like building up a bit of like a, a resume to some degree. So I can do that. That more. would be so, that so good. sick. I would love to commentate sport. Yeah, me too. I yeah. think it's really fun. It's way more fun than doing uh smash because there's more moving parts and more yeah. people and stuff. So yeah. there's more to talk about Yeah, because it's like mm. you have, let's say it's seven on seven in Frisbee. Mm-hmm. You have 14 people to like make a comment on like yeah. someone gets it and you're like, Oh, they've been training hard this season for this reason. With Smash, it's just True. there's less points of interest. True. There's 14 narratives on that. Exactly, wow. it's it's way more interesting in my opinion. I agree. That makes sense to and commentate. The plays between back and forth of like if you change from offense to defense in like one point, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Smash, they go from offense to defense too. It's just harder to tell. <laughs> yeah. But like yeah, yeah, a lot no. of the time in Smash, you can end up reverting to just saying what you're looking at. Yeah. Because it's like you comment on this guy, comment on this guy. Now what? Yep. Yeah. I feel like it happens so fast in Smash as well. It's very like it, it, sport has more of a natural ebb and flow. What does that mean? What, Whoa. An, ebb, an ebb and flow? Oh, like a rhythm to it, I guess. Yeah. But what does natural mean? Well, like there's stuff's going to happen and there's going to be parts where nothing's happening a lot more in sport. I think it's much oh. more clear in sport. I think it also yeah. happens in esports. Yeah. But it's harder to tell because. Yeah. You're watching a video game? Yeah. Oh, when you're like, it's me. chill out time right now. Like or like, you know, like they really slow down back. their tempo. Uh, yeah. Like a team tries to take control of the game and slow it down. You kind of have that in between set, in between yeah, matches. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's not you, as clear, it's a good I think. Because it's, it's like clear. a Frisbee or most sports are like 40 minutes straight where Smash is like three minutes, yeah. three minutes, yeah. three, and then it's over. So yeah. yeah, that was actually, that was what I did this weekend. Trying to set up the stream, a huge pain in the ass. Mm. It's like... Because I'm using these Smash tournaments and you just go like, all right, what's the Wi-Fi <laughs> password? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's, the, where's the nearest yeah, power how board? How do you even go I'm about setting the, that up? I'm in the middle of an oval with like a 50 meter extension cable coming out of like, you know, oh those God. meter boxes next to like light poles on fields. You can yeah. just plug a into that? Big me- oh yeah, and, you, and but it, we did that and it didn't work and then they had to call someone to get it working and then like, I'm like, is it going to rain? I got my laptop, my camera. We got a tripod. It's windy. Oh. There's two cameras. Oh, oh my you had God. A setup. Yeah, I was trying my hardest to make it as good as possible. That's it wasn't sick. as good as I planned because yeah. it was the first try doing it. That's impressive. But I was though. proud of how it did look and sound in the end, even yeah. though it wasn't That's perfect. super cool. So that was an absolute mission, but I'm glad I did it. Oh, That's really cool. I'm we, jealous. You were saying fun. before the pod, you had a bit of a theory. I've got a theory. <laughs> What's the Get theory? ready for the theory, guys. Okay. I think that babies can read minds until they turn one and you forget. That's my theory. Babies can read minds. go home, not go home because you don't have a baby. Well, I don't think. See a baby in the wild <laughs> and look it in the eyes and tell me it's not reading your mind. Yeah, no, I agree. A hundred percent. I totally what? agree. I've had a See, long- it's a fact. <laughs> okay, but have you had any recent experience with babies? Yeah. Like within the last oh, week. Oh, no, not 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 a below a year, actually. Yeah, no. below a year. Not No, not in the last they week. They just look at you like this. But is that because they're dumb? That's uh, what face was I doing, Jordan, for the audio yeah. listeners. You were doing a face where your eyes were open and you bubbled your head. Yeah, like, a, like a baby. I, yeah, think, exactly. I think you might be confusing the expression of having every thought with the expression of having no thoughts. No, they're reading my mind. No. They have so many Do you thoughts. have the same thing when you look at a snail? No. No. Okay. Yeah, their eyes kind of just go <laughs> on their little stalks <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, you know what I'm thinking, you little fucking gastropod bitch. We can't prove that they can't. So oh, here we go. You can't prove the snails don't. That's true, but I don't forget the feeling. I don't get the vibe from snails. Oh, I but see. I think that's how babies learn things so quick. Is they I think so. Your mind. Their brains are so susceptible. I can totally get behind this. They get behind. If they read your mind. They would shut up when you think, shut the fuck up. No, no. but they don't even understand what that thought is. Yeah. What? Then so they're reading, reading your mind, but it's just gibberish. Yeah, that's they don't not really reading. If I pick up a book of, in 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 Hebrew, yeah. I'm not reading. I'm just looking at nonsense. Yeah, that's a I good point. That's true. I think they can get in your mind. But I think they have a very basic level of this. Like, okay, because I held a baby. I think you guys are talking about thinking. I think you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are like, they look at you and no, they read no. your body language somehow. <laughs> it's like they're in your head. It's like when I ask a mind. question of the week. They read your mind, Jordan, I'm telling you. I reckon, I reckon when they try and have a read. Like they're trying to f- suss, suss stuff out. Well, they're yeah. not trying. There's no trying going on. <laughs> it's succeeding. When Jordan has his question of the week and he looks at my reaction, he's reading my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not reading. Your mind. It's extremely obvious. Well, maybe it's not for everyone. Peter gives off an, an extremely stern look. I think babies are pretty good at reading the room, though. Yeah, reading minds. Like, can, can, compared to how good they are at everything else, which is terrible, 
they're pretty good at reading the room. They're really good at expressing genuine emotion. Oh, like you could do some experiments where you're like, okay, everyone just act. Yes, yeah, like smile at the died. baby. Smile at the baby or frown at the baby. They know. And how yeah. quickly the baby? Oh my god! Play dead. You know that show? Thank God you're here. Where they walk into a room. And yeah. it, this is an Australian TV show where it's like a comedy TV show. They walk into a room and they have to improvise. Yeah. And the room's already set up with like, oh, thank God you're here. You need to land the plane or something. Yeah. yeah. They should do that show with babies. And see how they react. Thank God you're here, baby edition. <laughs> yeah. And the baby stumbles in. Or ba- maybe they're like It's toddlers. like a toddler. Right. Like one year old. And then they're like, how quickly do they figure out what's going on? Are they smiling? What kind of situations would you put them in? Because I feel like landing the plane, they wouldn't know enough about that. But yeah, I, that's why basic. you put them in. Oh, oh! So Catch like, off guard. yeah, they get like a captain hat slapped on them, and they like right hold happens? the joystick, and you toss them in. You say, yeah. "Let's go." I think that a lot of uh, middle-aged women would love this show. I would yeah. love it. Okay, Jordan is sort of a middle-aged. Yeah. Woman when you think what? About it. How? <laughs> roast. It's not roast. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of facts coming yeah, out. I've got facts today. If you Jordan, want to know them, the master of oh, it's just an opinion yeah, has now no, stated that today, Jordan is a middle-aged woman as a fact. It's a fact. <laughs> would you not watch that show? You'd surely I would, watch. I would, but not with as much enthusiasm as you and the middle-aged women. Gang. Ah. Sort of no, but also the scientists. With. I'm there for the science perspective of, of what. Understand, what do? Like, yeah, understanding like psychology and babies. Right. What do you reckon you would learn from them? Well, like you would learn the development, like development stages of how they read and understand and then communicate is true. Like they would walk in, they would already read everyone's brain, apparently. No, they're and too then, old in your show. Oh. No, they're, no, they're, yeah, you have to get the new ones in. They'd be sick at the improv. <laughs> yeah, they'd be mad. They just can't talk, but if they could, <laughs> then, they, yeah, but then they lose it just as they speak their first yeah, words. Yeah, that's then they forget all of it. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Why? What a great theory. <laughs> what a stupid theory. What, um, what's your first memory? <gasps> My first memory. Um, Look, I don't know if you? this is mine or not. That's actually a totally fair point. I know what you mean. Like, right. I don't know if it's something that my parents told me I did, so now I remember right. it. Right. Does Is that there one sense? that you can think of that you don't have that? Yeah, like if that's not the first, oh, then what's the next? clearly not that. Yeah. I don't know the chronological order, but I used to... <laughs> Extra syllable. Then. I remember yeah. once, like, we walk into kindergarten or pre-primary with my mum, and right. we're, like, looking at the kids, and I'm, like, we're, we're hiding behind a box and, like, looking at what pre-primary is like. Right. You're looking around like, who's, what's this kid doing? Mum, tell me if this is real or I've made this up. But it's like, we're looking and then all these kids in my head are giant. I thought she was in the room or something. No, no. She listens to the pod. dimly lit sending me to weird places. (laughs) You're about to get her. Kids read minds. Jordan's mum's a ghost. Pop it, mum, jump scare. (laughs) But yeah, so that's pretty old though, right? Uh, what's that? Like yeah. primary? That's like no, 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 no. it's like Pre-primary four or five. Four. Oh shit! Like I was three, also before turning four. Yeah, right. so I must have been four then. All right. What about yours? I I Any remember quite a few ones? things from pre-primary. Mm-hmm. I might have one before that. I think I, I don't Nothing really remember. Before. I might have one or two, but I don't really remember for sure. <gasps> I that, think like, mine's like eight. What? what? Yes. <laughs> I'm serious. You don't remember what? any of year one, two, or three? Did you go through? Trauma? I remember my first day of pre-primary, and then like yeah. the teacher like slaps me to like towards this kid, and I'm like, hey, maybe some year one, maybe. What about like like school and like the learning part of like English and spelling? Do you remember that? Like, because I remember that. I remember well, that just goes into the long term storage. It's not a memory. Yeah, like I learned how to write my name. Is that what you mean? Well, I remember like <laughs> sitting down <laughs> and like writing the book. The process. I don't remember that. And you like, remember like learning a letter or something? I remember going to spelling tests and like. Oh, I remember tests. the alphabet on pre-primary. Yeah, I remember a lot about pre-primary. I the the, <laughs> si- the single most formative memory of my pre-primary. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, was when. Um, a teacher buried, I think they like cow bones from the butcher in the sand pit for us to dig up as dinosaur bones. That's sick. And it Whoa. was so sick. And like, it was like an absolute dig site excavation, wow. like archaeological dig going on. And everyone was like, because someone found one. Yeah. And they're like, is this a dinosaur bone? Yeah. Like, what the, what the and hell? The was like, and like, everyone just like descends on the sand pit. We're like, we gotta no find more. Shot. And then like, I remember I, I was having a good look at one and I was like, this isn't a dinosaur bone. How did you figure that out? Because there was a little tiny bit of like fleshy vein shit still attached to it. Like it wasn't like You're a smart kid. Well, I was was right into dinosaurs and I was like, something ain't right here. I was a smart kid though. I was a pain in the ass to all my teachers. This is where Zoology Peter came from. This is your origin story, by the way. Yeah. And then I, I, that's the only thing I remember from this time of my life. So clearly. 
Wow. Wait, so how old are you here? Pre-primary? You Pre-pri- I went, I would have been, my birthday's in December, so I would have been three turning four. Right. That's pretty good. I'm un- they're all coming to me now. I'm unlocking a lot of well, pre-primary. Give us another None one. of them are cool. Oh, okay. No, they're just like, four turning five. I don't, I don't know what mine is. What is your first, like, living notes? Honestly, your own like, what Jordan said about the your parents giving you memories, to handing them over, giving you the keys. I've got a lot of those. Okay, but not them. Yeah, I'm not, I can't Dig. really think of one. Um... Yeah, because I swear I remember crawling around and chasing this toy, this very specific toy, but I don't know if that's my But memory. is this your parents were like, you loved that toy? Yeah, yeah, like, and I don't like, know if it's really me. No, it's- I've got one. <gasps> yeah, go on. I stole, this is, um, what's it called before kindergarten? So here we go. Is it like play group or something? Yeah, yeah. I stole a car and I felt so bad and I didn't tell my parents. A car? Like oh, a ooh. toy car. <laughs> no, no. He, he <laughs> was driving <laughs> it down the street. <laughs> 30 seconds. You're on top of the wheel. Yeah. You're brick on the accelerator. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then I like took it back. <laughs> he's tall enough when he's... <laughs> the like he's <laughs> just in baby form. Yeah, I can reach the pedals. It's a 24-hour delivery from poor, my poor mother. <laughs> <laughs> they were spooling me up like a guy. You're like at the snail. hip line now. You're at the hip line. There's not more to go. She's just like, Jesus! You got that belly button out. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I remember that now. There you go, the car. And well, my that's very early. Didn't tell me that because I didn't want to tell them. Yeah, so things wow. that you don't tell anyone. That's how you know that's that it's a you real memory. You don't tell anyone. Oh wow. Um, yeah, there you go. What was yours, Sophie? Did you say one? No. Um, I have quite a few because I think I got scared a lot by my like uncles. Living at oh my God. grandma's. Where so is this going? I yeah, like, they oh, right? no. oh okay, no. Good, 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 good. No, then there's nothing terrible here. It's just like them being like, rah, like that. <laughs> that's good. <I'm> glad. <laughs> that, that's great, that, actually. That story could have gone in so yeah, many no, ways. No, 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 I was no, scared no. of my no, uncle. No, no, playing no. uncle bingo here. <laughs> no, this was good. This, um, but yeah, because they were just like, my mom has uh, four siblings, a big family, and right. they're like similar to age, like all each other. And so, like, I just lived with my grandma and my uncle also lived there and yeah. so it was just like a giant family and mm. so then like i just remember like s- like my brother and interacting with him and i think it would have been between the age of like two and three and then also one i know this is my very first memory is going to the beach is right. my very first like living memory and uh just remembering like the limestone walls were huge and then oh, i went back yeah. to that same beach and i was like this is just a hill <laughs> yeah. That two year old me was like, This is a mountain. Dude, yeah. everything being out of scale when you're young is crazy. Yeah. It's so weird. Like, have you, I went back to my primary school and just like walked around. I was like, What the hell is this? Dude, the drink fountains Dude. are up to your knee. I know. It's <laughs> crazy. As I said, the relatable one everyone can do is go back and just lean over at the drink fountain and be like, Hold up. This yeah. is shoulder height. <sighs> Crazy stuff. There you go. First memories. Wow, we yes. got deep. This this lighting is going crazy. <laughs> Sent us to weird places. Jack, do you, you remember s- the first time you guys got in like big trouble? I remember getting in trouble from my parents or, at or school? just in school, maybe or in general. In school, I was so well behaved. So was I. That's why when it got me, it got yeah, me. Yeah, I me got good. my name written on the board and I cried. <gasps> yeah. yeah, that's a big one. That's one oh. straight up. Or so that upset. says a lot about like who you are. Yeah. I feel what's like in the, the beginning. What's the biggest trouble you ever got in at school? When I was in like late high school, I had detention all the time. I just got in trouble all the time. Was there any one standout moment where you no, just it was like nothing did like something crazy? It was more just like being negligent, like Were not you- doing this. You spoke to do in detention like oh. every other week or every week yeah every other week probably yeah, okay. yeah that's annoying that sucks anyone else anyone got a standout memory i had just had my not like i was crazy but i remember in year four or five we had to get our german language book like laminated i don't know if i've said this on the pod now i'm saying it but it's so. like we didn't get it laminated because my mom like didn't buy the stuff laminate. to laminate it and then the teacher was like you gotta go you gotta not go to, go to lunch today i'm like oh <laughs> That's Mate, adorable. and the way it worked at primary school was like it was a bench that you yep. had to sit on that was exposed yep. to everyone. In front and of I was just yep. like, I'm just like sitting there, and I'm just like looking at everyone. I'm pretty sure I was like crying as well. Yeah. And then like older kids who were like in year seven were like, "Oh, Jordan, what did you do?" Like, because yeah. I'm like usually not in trouble. I'm like, "It's a laminator," and it, or something. This and is then, adorable. wait, how old are you in this? Sorry, like year four or five. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then that's the biggest trouble you were ever in. I think so. I'm trying to... Th- you were quite a good boy. That seems like you're oh, very good. Oh, no. Once I threw a stick at some chick's eye. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> that was so true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just came... Okay, this is crazy. 
I don't know how much of this story is real. Go on. Because this must have happened when I was in year two or three. And you've right. been gaslit about it. And they were like, <laughs> there was there was this, this guy and this girl, right? And then they were saying something about, oh, you can't throw that stick or something. And then I'm like, <laughs> watch me. <laughs> That's what I'm going to throw this stick right now. And then it hit the girl like in the eye, I think. And then I, okay, now my memory's gone from what happened at that point. I think I was just freaked out, right? Yep. I run or something. Then I'm like, I'm hiding somewhere in the school. Cause I'm like, what have I done? I fucked up big time here. Yep. And then I see two girls sprinting after me. And then they're like trying to arrest me pretty much. Like yep. the teacher has said to them like, oh, go get, like the, obviously the girls cried, gone to the teacher. The teacher said, go get Jordan. Citizens arrest. And it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it happened. Take it, him down boys. A bunch of kids came and they like pinned me to the ground. Right. And then I'm like, oh no. <laughs> this seems like crazy to It's like your 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 run is over, Jordan. I know. I was like, okay, the, the two, the I remember the two girls running after me and they're, they're like they're running and they're kinda of like skipping towards me. I'm like, oh shit, they're after me. And then I'm I remember in my head thinking, I can beat them. Like I can outrun them. Two v one. It's this fine. Sounds like GTA police. It then does. Jordan's <laughs> like, my stars are going up, bro. There's more and more people coming. Then I don't know what happens in the in-between once again. Right. Memory flashes back. I'm on the ground. The the like cool kid of the school is like standing over me with a stick. Like we've got you. You know what I mean. I thought he was about to do a bit of like. No, oh, he like, me back. Yeah. Is he holding it to your throat like a like a sword? That, in my memory, it's like that. And he's, he's like, he's, don't move yeah. if you value your life. <laughs> That's what it's like in my memory. I have no idea how much of this is true. Wow. But like, I've never told anyone this, so it must be pretty wow. true. So it's like the kids. There's a bunch of kids on my back. The cool kids got the stick over me. Like we've got you. And then, and then I, I then it's gone again. What principal's and office it, or something, or what's going on next? You don't know at all. I think I got a talking to, and then I ran off and cried again, and I like hid in the school playground tunnel right. until the teacher found me. That's I my memory. Can't I don't know what that is. What actually happened? I wish there was like a video camera, like footage of like yeah. what it was actually like, because I have no idea. I can't believe laminating one over that for like. Whole minute. It's because yeah. it's a repressed memory, right? It's like you were just like, "Fuck, this was awful." Yeah, the memory I got activated. Regret. Yeah, or maybe. Yeah. Well, I think because the laminator one, I was older, so it was like I already had the identity of being a good boy. Yeah. And then it like got crushed mm, every time. But in, when one? you're like year yeah. one, year two, you're just like you just exist, you know? Yeah. Um. My the only thing I would ever get in trouble because I was a good kid is that I just, just I I have always had a thing for just not respecting authority figures. Yep. And it's just something that is just like part of my psyche for some reason. I've always had it. Oh, wow. And I still deal with it. But now at least I'm an adult. I can back myself when they're not a good leader. Because like when you're a kid and you have a shit teacher, oh, you yeah. still have to respect them. Yeah. Now as an adult, if I have a shit leader, I don't have to respect them anymore. So I can actually back myself being like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, they're not sure. your guardian. They're not my guardian. They're not my problem. I don't actually have to listen to them anymore. Yeah. But as a kid, it just caused so many problems because like I didn't respect a lot of people because I thought they weren't good at what they were doing. It's really funny mm. from a year one or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. I was just the sassiest little bitch of a child because yeah. I just didn't respect a lot of my teachers. And yeah. so one time in year, it was four or five. I just really didn't like this teacher I had. And he was probably actually a very good teacher. This was a bad take, but I was nine in my defense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> defense accepted. Uh, and I really didn't like him. So in like the back of my maths book, I just like started doing like, you know, I do love someone. Yeah. And like, I have like devil horns yeah, and like yeah, a yeah. speech ball being like, I'm stupid, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I love talking, blah, wait, blah. Wait, like, was this year in like year three or four? Four, four, four yeah. or five. Like, and then I, it was in the back of my maths textbook and then that got found and I got in big trouble for that because I just drew like a picture of this teacher in like just it was just a disrespectful drawing and obviously it's not appropriate yeah yeah but it wasn't really but it felt like the end of the world obviously because everything does when you're a kid yeah and then later in year nine this was now at high school mm -hmm. did you get more hardcore uh somewhat not really it was still just disrespecting your teacher i thought was shit yeah. and uh we had this is when facebook just basically started and facebook groups were all the rage and like you would like like pages all yeah. the time oh, like yeah. pages to, to, yeah, yeah. just to show it was like peter likes Easy i hate when mosquitoes bite <laughs> yeah, me yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like, okay whatever and someone from my class made this thing called miss blank i won't say their name yeah can smd right miss and oh. then i liked it because it's, it's it's like social media it's where you're hanging out with your friends yeah and i like this group and like most of our class were in this group because we just all hated this teacher right and we're in an assembly right 
and she, she's like sitting in the teacher's chairs, the assembly, everyone was on the floor. And then we notice she's nodding off during the assembly, like going to sleep during a performance of like some, right. you know, performance. And so I took a photo of her on Zach's phone, right. falling oh. asleep and posted it on the Miss Blank and SMD page. Brilliant. And then, then the teachers found that and I got in huge trouble. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And I, I, Damn. Now I, I was saying last time the first person, the first teacher I had in primary school, he was probably pretty cool. I feel bad about that one. Yeah. This one was deserved. Like, why are you falling asleep during someone's performance in assembly? You're so at she work. can SMD? She or can. S- I would not. That is strangely sexual for a child to say about an adult. So I'm going to say that take was who bad. who rat was. Who, who exposed your group? It was I Zach, I bet. <laughs> I mean, the girl who made the group got in more trouble than me, but I got a lot of trouble for just taking the photo. But I think what they were concerned about is that it was just a bad look for the school. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's like our yeah. teachers are falling asleep. They were like, oh, you shouldn't take photos of people without their permission. I'm like, maybe they should not be asleep at work. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's just a thing they should do. I mean, that teacher probably got into some trouble, you would imagine, for sleeping. I we hope sh- so. We but should you also don't, know. Say don't condone any of this behavior. Like, oh, I these- do. Okay. Fuck it. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it, follow your dreams. When, when you're a kid, <laughs> when you're a kid and you think someone is like wrong, more often than not, you're probably wrong because yeah. you haven't learned very much yet. Yeah. But sometimes you are right, and it's so hard to know the difference. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, like that's something. <laughs> and now with my whole thing of still not really respecting authority figures, I struggle with that a lot. Did now. you like hate your parents? Nah, my parents are really reasonable, so it's pretty good. Oh, so maybe that's why, because it's like they're authority figures, but you like them. Yeah, well, that's because I think that. I mean, I think they're fantastic. And then these parents. shitty parents come in. Well, the these, teachers. these figures that are just like they don't know what they're talking about. Mm. Like I have a memory of year one of. Uh, my teacher said that white tigers were like a prehistoric animal that went extinct. Right. And I was like, no, they're not. Because I, I was like, tigers are my favorite animal. I know this. Yeah. And so then the next day at school, I brought in a book to show them that they were wrong. Oh, they you know, that's like, so yeah, good. And it's just like, what are you going to do when a six-year-old corrects you and you're a teacher? It's like, what happened? Oh, probably nothing. My mom just thinks it's funny. <laughs> that's say, amazing. That's this, fantastic. This is something that you get out of pre-internet schooling. So yeah. I cannot relate. And yeah. I think this is like a quite unique experience just before, like, the knowledge was widespread for something like that to not be a mistake in teaching. Like I think teaching couldn't be held to as high as a standard as it is now. Cause now you could just Google. You can just yeah. check. Yeah. 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 yeah everyone's got oh, a true device. teachers might've been out of control back yeah, in the day. Dude, why do you think schooling like a hundred years ago, like caning and shit was a thing? Bring it back. Wait, and now I'm lost at the connection here. Oh, like it's like that. These things just aren't oh, okay. Oh, like, right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Let's like all get on the same level of like, maybe education should be at this level. I was more so thinking like if a teacher just genuinely believed that hippos were people. Dude, growing up is <laughs> the realizing. Kids, the kids might have known. That teachers are not smarter than the average person. Yeah. Necessarily, no. sometimes, but yeah, they're just the, the average person. They're just people. Yeah. Like there, there are some smart ones, and there are some not to the ones. average person. Exactly, you don't need to be very smart to become a teacher. Like it doesn't need like high uni. It's not medicine. Degree, yeah. yeah. Like to be a like a doctor or a physicist, you need to be much smarter than you need to be a teacher. Were you ever in big trouble, Sophie? Or, or you got no? a bit sidetracked there. Um, yeah, I got in major trouble a couple of times. <laughs> I feel like your trouble is it much worse than our Dude, little the wussy baby stories? Girl, school, go. I didn't laminate mad. my book, Sophie. That's too bad. <laughs> Don't you forget that when you're <laughs> diminishing Jordan's story. He didn't laminate it. Um, like, okay, let me think of probably the best one. Here uh, we go. Oh, God. Wait, is this primary school? Them. Is this high school? I'll give, okay, we'll give you two short good ones. So, the best of primary and best of high school. Oh, wow. So the hits. Yeah, here's the, the hits. There's a really? full album. <laughs> yeah, but we'll just get the hit, the singles. When go on. I left my primary school in year six, I made a video with my friend of me swearing and saying all these horrible things <laughs> about this teacher, just addressed a video, like, we hate you, F you, blah, blah, Sorry, blah. about a teacher? Yeah. Right. And then put it on, you know, like, This backwards. teacher must have sucked ass. Yeah. <laughs> put it backwards. I, like, oh, made so the video you couldn't backwards. tell what the video was? Put it in code. Put it on a thumb drive, <laughs> gave it to them as I left. <laughs> Why gave did you do that? The teacher. The teacher. Did they figure what? it out, do you reckon? Probably. Def- Imagine a child who's like... Oh, and it's just someone yeah, roasting you, but it's like... Yeah, yeah. They, they know... You know what backwards English sounds yeah, like? Yeah, true. So and then also you out. probably could just reverse it because yeah. this is a few years after we were in school. Yeah. So it's like 
technology was a lot more accessible. I feel like reversing something is actually pretty hard. <laughs> There's no button. Man, so but if was, you want to do it, you could find yeah, out. That's yeah. the highlight of primary. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> that's inte- Wait, why, why did you feel the why? need to give it to them? What? This what was this teacher? Must have sucked. Fucked. I don't really want to talk about this. This is not that interesting. It's I just did not think they were a good teacher. Like, just being like, you guys really both unfair. rebelled against what oh, you, you thought was yeah, bad for each other. You and I is that I'm just doing it passive aggressively. So if he's like, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's She's a cryptic <laughs> message about I, here you That's shit. the craziest part to me. Like, that's something I would do. <laughs> but my, my stuff just got found and I was like, oh no. Like, you were like sending a message, Did bro. You, that's like an anime moment. Like, yeah. you should have had, like, you winked yeah. and then walked oh, off. Oh, that's crazy. All right, what's the high school one? Does it get better than that? Uh, This one is probably a little bit not as good because I think I matured a bit, which is probably but for the better. But to be fair, that's, that, that's a high standard. <laughs> yeah, you should have gone high school first. Um, yeah, sorry. So that's then right. high school was like we as a collective year group got our muck up day banned for the rest of all future muck up days. Oh, and classic. we had three girls not graduate and be expelled in our year group. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, there was just some real messed up things people did because they just took it way too far. And I was not one of those people, but like I was in on the plan. So I yeah. knew all about it. Like the whole year group did. Like yeah. we're going to like pour like this off food in all the year 10s lockers and like, yeah, yeah just like damaging property and everything. It's just like was went way too far. We and just did a bunch of like sort of weird jokes from my memory. Ours That's was banned from nature. the previous. Yeah. Same. Uh, Mine was banned from the previous year. just took it so far like that. Yeah. <laughs> you just, and the year 10s are like, oh. Yeah. What's that about? <laughs> oh, like all my hundreds of dollars of school books just Yeah, ruined. just like, yeah. oh, great. Thanks, guys. Yeah, awesome. It's like there's, when you're a kid, you don't understand what's funny. Yeah. You think everything's funny and then you do it and you're like, ooh. I remember that. They probably thought, you probably thought it was funny as you did it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Still, you're it, like, this is the best prank yeah. ever. And I, then you yeah. realize and you're like, wait yeah. a minute, this is fucked. Like when I was in the middle of doing something and like, because you do it hours before school arrives. So everyone rocks up to school and the whole school's, yeah, you know, trashed. mucked up. Is yeah. muck up day an Australia thing or is this a worldwide thing? I feel like we're talking about this a lot. Oh, feels very any, American. Any, any, yeah, people feels the, any people in the chat have no idea what a muck up day is. Let us know as we're going and we'll clarify. Yeah. But Sorry. Just keep going for now. Um, yeah, like we were just starting to do things like hanging stuff up on trees and stuff and the teachers would be rocking up to like work yeah. and they'd be like, girls, what are you doing? Don't do that. Like, yeah. stop, put that away. <laughs> like, and we'd be like, oh, I, I don't, well, oh, okay. You know? Yeah. yeah. You just have no gauge of it when you're a kid. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, who invented that? And why is, what if you're the it's, it's principal? Like, it's supposed to be I a bit of fun. It's that. like, oh, yeah. at the end of the day, it's, oh, you've, you've done your schooling. Well done. You can have a bit of fun. Oh, senior people prank, say they have senior prank. Yep. Yeah. I think, yeah, senior ditch day. Yeah, and that's yeah. how it's literally where like where you're basically the last day of school. It's a signed day for you to just do like pranks at the school and some goofy stuff. Some that's goofy really stuff. funny that Australia version is like a muck F word. Up. Yeah, muck up day. It's In, like a... This is like prank ditch day. Like senior prank. Senior prank and ours is And we're just like a, rhymes with <laughs> F word. It almost sounds like the, the principal announces it. It's like, it's senior ditch day, yeah. everyone. Yeah, and yeah, they're I like, don't know why they would allow that. Obviously, like if you're year 12 and you're trying to think of how you could cook up the school, you're going to yeah. come up with some devious I things. I think the idea is good. I think that people will take it way too far and then it gets yeah. banned. Yeah. Like, the year before ours was like, they did a couple of things. One was they put it com- like a full on mattress just in the school swimming pool. Yeah. That's, that's a classic. I heard, I heard that story. Wait, what school did you? Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't say that. It's a lot of, a lot of schools do this one. It's a classic. Oh, okay. but yeah. They need to, it costs them a shit ton of money to get it out. Need a crane. It's, yeah. They yeah. needed to hire a crane to get it out because it soaks up all the yeah. water. Right. Game. Right. This game is called Sophie's Choice. Ooh. Up to movie? the movie, yeah. Ooh. That's what's me. The, what's the movie about? That's oh. correct. Pe- the, the movie's about Peter. Wow. Here's the, how the game works. I'm going to ask a question and you both have to guess what Sophie's answer will be oh, and no. she will tell you. If I lose this to oh, Jordan. Oh my God, I'm competing. Yeah. And <laughs> no, I can't lose and this. Even worse, Jordan gets double points. I have <laughs> nothing to gain from this game. <laughs> you know, you're, no. you're in a terrible situation. Yeah, so Don't Jordan, worry. you get double points if you get it right and Peter gets it wrong. Like, just a normal point for both of you. Okay. Both I'm okay. confident but terrified. This is hilarious. <laughs> okay, it starts off sort of very chill and we get a little bit more into it as we go. I don't know what type of questions these are. There's all sorts. Cool. First one. Does Sophie like pineapple on pizza? Oh, I think she's divisive about this. Peter's going to know this one. I assume I have to ask first. Yeah, I think you have to go first. (laughs) Um, I'm not going to be basing my guess off your guess. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's smart. You might be, you might be. Yeah, no, we should have it that way and then he guesses off. I think I've heard Sophie talk about this. I think she... 
isn't into it, and she likes the traditional Italian so style. No pineapple. No on pineapple. Pizza. <laughs> it's not a simple answer, right? Ooh. I think that if it was a very nice pizza, right. she would want simple. But she likes the concept of pineapple on pizza. If you're just like putting stuff on pizza, so it's like a yes, it's good. But if it's a beautiful pizza, yeah. you don't want to put many toppings on at all. It's if quite any. traditional. Yeah, I think it needs some. I don't know. That kind of covers too much. I well, think you got to look at yes, yes or no. Yes or no. Yeah. I'm going to say, so, oh, okay. do you like pineapple pizza? Yes. I think I get to be the one who says. I'm going to say, right I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> so if you get to give out the points, that's not a good. Me. That's a I good think idea. That is incredibly accurate. Yeah, that's good. Well, well done, like, Peter. That is. You've covered all your bases. And how about Jordan? Does he get a point? No, sorry. Oh. All right. Unexpected there. Does <laughs> unexpected loss. Sophie believe in aliens? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> now it's your turn, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm not really decided on this, but I think it would lean towards it's got to be something out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yes. So you're on one point, Peter's on two. But I thought Johnny gets double points. No, no, only if you, you get, get it wrong. wrong oh, as well. I see. If I Otherwise like completely would... bamboozle you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was fucked. <laughs> uh, favorite season, as in summer, autumn, etc. I know Sophie likes the beach. Right. She'd mentioned the beach. So I'm going to just go with summer. I'm a little bit worried about this one. Mm. It's either summer or spring. Mm. I might be losing the points, but I'm going to say spring. It might be summer, though. It's a good chance of summer. And? It's autumn. Oh! Wait, so no one got no it No one gets anything. Oh. What's the difference between autumn and spring? I'm so allergic in spring, so oh. my allergies go crazy. But you <laughs> love flowers. I do. And also my birthday's in autumn here. Right, there you go. Well... And you talk about like cherry blossoms in Japan all the time. <laughs> this is it's spring, guys. I'm changing your answer. <laughs> you don't experience my allergies. Go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so score update: Peter two. You're on one, Jordan. Yes, but it can change very quickly here. It can. Which of these is your, is Sophie's favorite form of art? Paintings, music, or fashion? <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> her favourite form. She just made Do a you even know She's this? thinking about it right now. I literally have to think. Yeah. Oh, man. This is a sh- this is a good chance but for I, me here. I no, like no, this. I think you've got a point still on the table here. So what is it? Music, paintings, or fashion? What does she like more? Favourite form of art. Her favourite... F- what does that question mean? Great yeah. choices, Jackson. <laughs> yeah. I think they're probably Sophie's top three. Oh, good. This, Yeah, totally. Like, if you like said, like, sculpture, they'll be like, oh, nah, not that one. Yeah, because I, I can't rule any of these out. Yeah, They're sure, all great options. Huge. Sorry, one more time. Music, paintings, or fashion? I'm going to go with the fashion, because you get to wear it out and about. It's a good answer. That's your reason, but yeah, good. No, um, that's Sophie's Oh, sorry, you're in her head so yeah, much. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm like sorry, a baby right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up baby moment. Uh, I th- I th- I'm feeling a little bit better. I think that it, Jordan, it's not going to be fashion, even though she really does like it. Mm-hmm. Um, But I could be wrong. She just went to a bit of a body language that made me feel like yeah. I was wrong. But anyway, yeah. between painting and music, we do like music a lot. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm going to go with painting. Everyone looks at me like I know the answer, but yeah. I also don't know the answer. <laughs> You're the quiz master. <laughs> it's got to be music. Oh, so no but, one was right. No one was right. But music in an art gallery, that one probably goes the craziest. What's the one, two, three? So music's one. Music, art, yeah. like paintings, yeah. and then fashion. Yeah, okay. <sighs> music Sorry, was going to be... It's a, it's, it's a too obvious answer. Like, was that, was that, is that close though? Like music versus painting? No, because think about... music really just wins it? When you shut your eyes and the images you can see when you listen to music and yeah, like the yeah. meaning. But and then like, you open your eyes and everyone's fashionable. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jordan. No. Brilliant. And your eyes are open more than they're shut, Sophie. All right. This How is where... That's a good question, Jackson. Well done. <laughs> this is where they get... There's two left and they get difficult. Yeah. But that was easy. <laughs> well, I think that's sort of getting us into the harder ones. All right. Oh, All right. Gosh. This one's a bit ridiculous. Would Sophie become a professional poo sniffer for $1,000 a day? Choose your own days. Yes or no? Oh, yeah, of course. That's easy. Uh, definitely not. 
what does choose your own days mean? You get to like, if you want to work today, you go in, you get a thousand dollars for working a nine to five shift. A nine to five shift oh. of sniffing shit. Yeah. Hell no. I thought you meant like could work. But you could one choose day your hours. Hour. So you could just say <laughs> no choose your every hours, day. Choose your day. You could you could say no every day and then be like ah uh, today. But then I, I get no it. money. Doing a nine to five shift for a thousand dollars each day. You know, yeah. it's like no, not doing it. Dude, so he has a really good sense of smell. What is this? You know what the first thing? Unbelievable. Yes. It's. Three to one, so we're going to have to make Jordan gets triple points. Triple points, last triple. one. <laughs> no, I could even it up. I think that's... Okay. I could even it up. Fair and square winner. Would winner. Sophie be able to be with Peter if he had to skip everywhere he went? Yes. I think that's easy. easy skip choice. everywhere? Yeah. I'm saying everywhere. You can't walk. You can't run. You have to skip all the time. Yeah. I think you probably prefer that. Sophie's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, both go yes? Yeah. yeah. That would be oh, a so deal breaker I can't, for me. I, I couldn't then. handle that. What do you mean? Oh my God. It's you... funnier. It's better probably. What about like at a funeral? That's funny. Lighten the mood. That's not what you want. <laughs> Lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say no because you wouldn't be at Frisbee. What? We you would never just... have met. No, but like if I started doing it now. Is that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's like okay. today. If onwards. I was a permanent skipper, I think I probably wouldn't have made it to this point in my life. But like a paraplegic, like, but you're a skipper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Instead of being in like a wheelchair, he has to skip all the time. Like I hit my would... head really hard you and now I'm a skipper. You would not be very good at anymore. Oh, dude, it's a really hard one because it's just so many socially unacceptable places. I think it's uh, more of a no than you guys gave it. For me crazy. personally. Yeah. Um, like, What? It's really not that bad. Like if you like, okay, <laughs> let me, let me flip, flip around. Okay. Yeah, this is a hard one. Yeah. If I was suddenly in a wheelchair, yeah. would you still be able to be with me? Yes. Th- this is much less debilitating than that. Yeah. But it's more embarrassing. I can still go up the stairs. I think as long as everyone knows, then they, they're just sorry. Social- he has to skip all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine introducing him to me with sorry. He skips. You know, everywhere. like the hats be patient. I have autism. It'd be something like that. It's just it's like a, a, shirt. a big shirt with a big print. It's like, sorry, I had a would you yeah, rather yeah. question many years ago, in which case I now have to skip everywhere. Just imagine like, he's, he's, Peter, can you go get me a drink from the bar? And he comes back and it's half empty. because He <laughs> skips all the way. No, I'd be so good at like, I'd, I'd be, because I have quite good balance. I'd be. Oh, you would count it. Steady steady down. Down. Yeah, yeah, really. You skip and drop it and down. And like, I'd have little motions for when I want to go slow. Like and then a gimbal sort of thing. It got, it get, get me outside after this. I'll show you how fast I can skip. I reckon I can make up some good get pace. I'm a, I'm a good skipper. Oh, oh, we always need to see it, but it doesn't work for the podcast. But I feel like Sophie needs give to you a see sub- what I'll give you a like. subtle skip. All right, I'm going to try All and right. describe it. Yeah. This is me like walking down the street. Hop like, skip. Just hanging out. Like... Oh, she's shuffling. This is You're supposed to be describing this. Oh, sorry, I'm just sorry, laughing. I'm stuff out of my okay, so Peter is taking stuff out of his pockets and he's getting ready to. It's almost like a shuffle. What looked like, yeah, yeah. LMFAO sort yeah, of but shuffling, like couch, but casual. Like some yeah, so he's window. sort of. He's got a swag walk about him. He's, yeah. he's kind of got a shuffle. Yeah, I'm faster. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like, you know, big hops. Yeah. <laughs> Skip cat. <laughs> and like running on the spot, I'd just be like. Oh my god! I couldn't like handle me, this. Me waiting to cross the road. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. You'd yeah. have to eat a lot. Or you'd get very skinny. Dude, I have Imagine him. Legs. Yeah, you do get to sit down. Still. Okay, I think I but love you so much exhausting. that you're too valuable to lose. That if you now have to be a permanent st- skipper, I'll make that adjustment wow. in my life. Wow, romance! Whoa. That is the hardest I've ever worked for a point in a game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was running around. I'm sorry, <laughs> skipping around. <laughs> There well you go. Done. So Peter, Peter well done. Wins. You did win the game. Thanks. Threw in a few curveballs, but you got it done anyway. Thank God. <laughs> Luckily, Jordan couldn't read the curveball either. Nah. <laughs> so there you go. That's called yeah. Sophie's Choice. Thank Thank you. Game. That was Little very game. fun. Very nice. Hilarious. Ugh. Sad about the ones I got wrong, but, you know, they were good questions. Well yeah, done. So what did you get wrong? The season and the art the form. Art. Mm. Dude, we connect over so much music. I think, yeah, we do. I just don't get art like you do, so I don't know to what degree you appreciate it. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, sure. Yep, yep. So I, I can't really fathom it. So I was just, it's just, that's the unknown. Oh, I understand the music. I know you like it a lot. I just unknown. don't know how much you like art. Yeah. Right. Because you don't like it as much. As yeah. Art so it's, it's really hard for me to gauge. Yeah. I understand that. We should go to smart galleries. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll learn. You'll skip there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get, get me, get me outside. I will do a speed skip. I'll, I'll. We should post it on the um, Twitter. I think I might yeah, be able to contact. I might yep. be able to skip faster than Jordan can run. Oh, I do Probably. not doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero doubts. I'm not a fast runner at all. We ran home from uh, going out on the weekend and yeah. imagined skipping that. We would, you would skip three Ks. I could do it. Yeah. You guys ran home three Ks. Well, this is kind of a thing we've started doing. Now. <laughs> 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 that Go on. It's Go, yeah. So it's just like we run from the Uber prices. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> so literally. Good. So we run in the direction of our house. Do you get the quote up first? You're like, $90, oh, I'm yeah. running away. Yeah. 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 It, we like look That's at it. Amazing. We go, oh, 20. Oh, let's just give it a second. Oh, yeah. it's just surged now to yeah. 40. Yeah. All right, let's start running. Let's run away. So wow. then we'll usually run between like two to three k's away from it and close towards our house. And then oh, because if you get out of sort of the city or wherever you it are. It gets way cheaper. Or like halves the price also, and you also don't have to wait. You have to wait. I tried calling one with the surge price because I was like, oh, well, we'll just we'll just cop it. Yeah. And they, they didn't even, nobody even took us. Yeah. So I was like, well, now we have no choice. Yeah. Yeah. So on a night out. Running, like what are you, jogging or it's like. No, it, jogging. It's, a, yeah. it's a set jog. And then at the end, I wow. normally sprint. So we go, okay, this is where we're ending. And then I like just Wait, hit my stride. Where are you coming from? Like the what, city. Like what kind of events? Been oh, we went to see Golden Features. Okay. Uh, it's yeah. like a live So you're both wearing DJ. like sneakers or something. I'm wearing oh, docs. Yeah, I was wearing that's okay. uh, my Vans, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. But I was picturing like high heels or something. I don't know what oh. you guys were doing though. I Girls guess. don't really do that anymore. No. Thank God. It's high yes. heels a thing of the past, Jordan. No, they do do it. They do still. it, but it's it's less common. For like, less events, I think yeah. low key is coming back. Yeah, sure. Some Comfort. sneakers, some nice sandals. 90s. 90 sneakers making a huge boots. Comeback. Boots are reasonably practical. Yeah, boots seem good. I'd wear boots a lot if I was a girl. You guys gone to the mu- there's an Egypt museum in Perth. You can go check that out. They got Egypt some art museum. Ancient cool. Egypt. That's cool. They showed about. They're obsessed with art and gold. It's pretty crazy. Gold. I bet. Yeah. And the sun. And they cats. love it. Do you know the pyramids were like the <laughs> first the thing four. they did? What do you mean? That like was it, really early on like in history. Like if you look history. at the history of ancient Egypt, like before Cleopatra, like it's the first, it's like pyramids. Cleopatra was pretty recent compared to the ancient yeah, dudes. What's so, Cleopatra? When was she? 1800s? Or, uh, way earlier. Way earlier. Way earlier. Way earlier. Well, she Julius was Caesar. the same time as Julius Caesar because right, they were mates. They were 100. banging. Were they actually? They were a power couple. Were they really? I didn't know they were together. I think yeah. it's like, I don't know if it's like, because history kind of gets a bit muddy when you go that far back. Yeah. But anyway, it was like they had a timeline of ancient Egypt, like birth to like getting better. At right. S- and it's like the pyramid is like number one. They it's got like, that done early. Bro, how? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. But they were too into art. It was a bit weird. Too into art. Did think, you recently go to this exhibition? Yeah, like a couple of weeks ago. And was it good, the art? Yeah, it's like they're very good, like very nice pottery and stuff. And it's yeah. like 5,000 years ago. And Have, they're like did you see nice stuff. Artifacts and like fossils. They had and mummies. They had yeah, dead I've ass seen mummies. some of this before. Well, when real I went mummy. To, yeah, yeah, the dead person in it. <laughs> but they, they were like, um, they had their own kind of religion. They believed that it was like you're, you were in the heart, not the brain and stuff like Do that. Do you wow. believe that? Well, no. Yeah, mummification. Take the brain out, leave the heart in. Whoa. Oh, from that song. Yeah. But yeah, they, they loved dead. They thought if you're dead, you're kind of, you do your own dead thing now. Yeah. So they yeah, that's kind why of, they buried you with they like all your stuff. mummified you. They give you all your shit. They yeah. bring you food like once a week. They oh. bury you with gold and like, yeah. Because in your next life, you want to be just as rich as you were in this one. So it's you're like, like yeah. the pharaoh. And also, really like, funny. they give you all the stuff you need to yeah. get there as well. Like, a lot of the stuff they bury you with, it's like, oh, well, to get past this person. You need yeah. to give them a feather. So here's the feather for you to take, right. you know, like shit like that. And it is fucking convoluted. Yeah, <laughs> That's they would great. bury servants. Like they would kill people to die w- alongside you for your afterlife. So you can have some helpers yeah. to get on your quest. That's yeah. good. I need that. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you're dead. You're like yeah. down, Jordan. Pets and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, Just did some quick Googling. So yeah. Cleopatra and stuff was uh, like around 50 BC. So oh shit! It's that long ago. Yeah, but the pyramids are two thousand five hundred BC. So it's so like we're closer to the we're closer short, to yeah. Cleopatra than Cleopatra was to the pyramids. If you reckon if if um there was forty world events from ten thousand BC to present, how many do you think you would get right in order? I would get two. I reckon. Yeah, maybe like. Oh, two like to big four. Moments. Well, like you're talking like agricultural revolution, yeah, yeah, and like, then like, like for example, Alexander the Great, yeah. and like you know Genghis Khan, yeah, and maybe like Confucius yeah, be, or something. I think I'll get them mostly right. in the right order, but like individually, like I have a general sense of it. I'm not talking about like it. it's correct, like yes, no. It's kind of like I guess like what percentage you get. You I know think what I mean? Be okay, but yeah. I don't really know. I would be so bad. I have okay. no idea. Can I take this in a really left field direction? Yeah, go for, for it. A Let's go. Um, I feel like my historical timeline is a little bit muddied because of religion. <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> know where some of it's the... It's not episode like, 80 yet, dude. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean 10,000 BC? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like, heard of that shit. Like, my school, like, making it on the same level as, like, the history-defining moments, I'm kind of like, 
Wait, so what is the BC? That's all the Jesus time, right? That's before Christ. That's before Jesus. BC, yeah, yeah. before Christ. Yeah, but yeah. then it's like, oh, it's. But I that was know. when God was doing stuff, right? Yeah. Because God. I mean, he's always doing stuff, isn't he? Yeah. But Seems so in Christian, you do believe days. in BC. Yes, you do. Yeah. Because I like know the all the books of the Bible, like all the orders. There's a lot of books. Yeah. And I so looked at the Bible for the first time yesterday. Any good fact? Yeah. It was all right. I didn't read too much. Yeah, it gets a bit like... Uh, I only read one story, Cain and Abel. That's yeah, a good one. A good one. one. Yeah. I, I haven't like read any of them. I think I read one ages ago. I would not even be able to tell you what it was. What like. happened in Cain and Abel? You want to give us a little overview? Okay, well, I don't know if this was the kid's version of the Bible because it was just a simple paragraph, pretty cool. much. But it yep. was like, Adam and Eve, right. they get it on. Yep. Cain and Abel, two kids. Men, are both. they're both men. That's, this is the kids of um, their brothers. Eve, I think is Adam important, right? Yeah, they're bro- yeah. Well, is, they're both kids mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, they're brothers. Right. I can't remember which ones. One of them's better than the other, right? One of them's like God's like I need a sacrifice. I'm gonna say Cain's the better one, or maybe Abel because he's more able. I'll say Abel's the better one. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> is that jokes or is that real? No, 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 he no. no. So Abel's <laughs> like gives God like a sick lamb. No, 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 like a good lamb. Like that, this, this is what it said like in the Bible. Like a dope this ass is, this lamb. Is, this like is a, true. Like a chunky ass lamb as a sacrifice because God's like, I need a sacrifice. Abel's like, I'm And he's got sort of a one way line to God. It's through a burning bush. He talks to him. Apparently that was This dr- is Jordan's story. Let yeah. him get it wrong. And then and anyway, he gives him the, the gives nice him the lamb, right? lamb. He goes, here you go, God. Then the other brother who's kind of not as good as the other brother. Cain. Gives him a shit kind of sacrifice or it's not that good. And he's like, I don't want to give God a sacrifice. Right. Then oh, okay. God hella likes the good guy yep, who's doing way better. Yep. So then the other brother who's dog shit gets pissed and kills him. <sighs> kills the uh, brother, the good brother, because he's jealous. Jealousy, I am. And he kills him. And then God's like, no, can't do that. Um, But you can't uh, die. You just have to live with it. Is that right? Is that s- Somewhat. Brilliant. I think leave it there. <laughs> all right. I think the story the story was like, don't be jealous and kill people. That's we should have like Jordan's Bible review each week. You know? That would be like so a good rates passage. It, rates it. It's just like, what did you learn? Samson, hard to believe. Hair doesn't make you stronger. I don't like this one. Yeah, it should be like narrative out of 10 and like, what's it called? Moral the story out yeah, of 10. Like like what, how do you rate that story out of 10? That was 10 out of 10. And the moral? 10 out of 10. Believability, that's a good, that's a 10 out of 10. One. Um, I mean, no, we're not doing that as a fact. Oh, right. <laughs> no, yeah, too polarizing. I reckon that's believable. So brother gets jealous and yeah, kills another I brother. I it's pretty believable. Yeah, sure. Because that probably happened all the time back in the day. Killing. Yeah, if you're like angry and jealous, like, oh, if you're better than me, I'll kill you now. I'm the best. Like, don't hate on people who are doing well. And I think God it's a good like, moral of the let's story. Not mm. do that anymore. Yeah, be a better person instead. Yeah, don't. Well, that's relative. What don't tear you, other people down. Yeah. Bring yourself up. What made you read Holly's, the Bible? Holly's parents' house, and they had there was a Bible sitting there because they were like they've moved house and they were like clearing stuff and they had Bibles. Are they religious? Not really, but they went to a private school that had religion, right. so they ha- all had a Bible. Like mm. Holly had her Bible, and I was like, oh, have a look. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, mm. good stuff in there. There's, there's, there's is, that, is that you walking to Holly's parents? You're like, yeah, good stuff in there, guys. Yeah. Really. yeah. <laughs> book review? That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> book review? <laughs> well, it's going to be a bigger book. It's led to a lot, hasn't it's, it? It's an, uh, yeah, good read. Yeah. It it's must a be a one. good book. And there's a lot of books in it. But I reckon the best of book of all time is? The Bible has to be. Oh, but there's other religions that have really popular books too. What are the other ones? The Torah? Quran? The Quran, the Torah. The Quran is the Bible for half of it though. Yeah. Same, oh, really? so same Old bit Testament, bit right? The Old mm-hmm. Testament is the same in the Quran and the Bible. Right. And then Jesus came along and he was like, let's do this as well. In the Quran? No. Muhammad is the Quran. So we should save it for next week. That's a good point. We'll save it for next yeah, week. Yeah, we'll save it for next week. Save it for next, save next week. Oh, but Soph- Sophie's got the knowledge, which is probably... Probably a bad thing. We, yeah. we don't need <laughs> that. We don't need that. We don't need to fact checking. That's what this podcast is about. We're about getting it wrong and not apologizing. Wait, is Zach even back next week? Anyways. Oh, we should probably say where Zach is. Should we? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's People posted on every social media ever, us. right? Yeah. He's posted on every gobble, social media gobble. ever. Gobble, gobble. He's in Turkey. Turkey. He took Maddie there uh, to propose to her. <laughs> you said that in the most least high yeah, way. I, I feel like I'm spoiling his... Yeah, don't want to steal his thunder. Yeah. Um, by the time you guys are watching this, we'll be recording the next one with Zach, and I'm sure he'll tell us all about it. I'll leave this as a Patreon yeah. exclusive, so I don't feel so bad. Yeah. He's cut it out. So yeah, But Zach, yeah, he is away in Turkey. Yeah. He has proposed like a couple of days ago. It looked pretty dope. There were some good photos. Yeah. Good and spot. she yes. said yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she did. That was important <laughs> detail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, imagine what we'd have to say where he is if he, 
Yeah, never mind. So yeah, yeah Poggers for so that. Awkward Check out no. any of his social medias <laughs> to see the photos. Yeah, <laughs> some good hot air balloons, some good sunset. He he has done well. Some good sex. He hopefully. looks pretty. Jordan, who's gonna get married first, you or Zach? Oh Ooh. yeah, I forgot about you. That's a good <laughs> question. Actually. Hey, we did this in a would you rather. So another update. I might say them. I reckon they move I think quick. It might be them as well. Yeah, yeah. Maddie's not one to f around, so no, she'll be on too. They got money already, you know. Yeah. Well, Jordan, you do you have money? No, but like Maddie and Jack have a job. You don't have Tesla money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have Tesla money. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, don't yeah. Know. I, I yeah. might be tend to agree with you because do you have any any plans locked in yet? We've got some kind of plans, but okay. I, yeah, I assume they're gonna move quick. Will any of us do a speech at your wedding? I think Peter will do one to. at Zach's. I would imagine. I Whether know. he likes it or not, I probably will, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> but will any of us get one at yours? I haven't thought about any of this. Do well, think about to? it. Think about it now and just answer it. Fast. Okay, yeah. Joy, he's put you on the spot. Yeah, we go He's on. like, who, so who best man? Picking? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Me? Yeah, sure. I wasn't volunteering. I was just oh, asking. I was no one then. All right, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing the hypotheticals. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I haven't thought about it. Well, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't. I said yes. You said no. Is that like a just sincere yes? <laughs> Yeah, sure, if you want to. No, 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 yeah, sure, if you want no, to. No, it's more like... It's like a... You hey, George, hey, Jackson, I, have to, I, have I would be... You. I would be honoured if you... It's something no, you can't refuse. Yeah, it's sort of... You're sort of like, I would really want you to make a speech. My, it's, like, you, it's an honour. You yeah. don't just, yeah, sure, someone. Oh, so it's not And up you to don't you. just... Yeah, it's not up to me at all. No, you decide who you want and to. And then he has to do it. He has oh, to he give has you to. It's, like a, it's, like, it's like you've been asked to do something that's an honour. you got to do it. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Wow. It's like if it's like the queen wants to knight you, you'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, holy fuck. Yeah. Oh. So you think about who you want to talk at your wedding. You want some real good ones. really cool I don't think it married. would be me. Is that why I think it would be... I don't know who it would be. Yeah, Matt, in the end, no then. I'm going to say no. Yeah, so who's going to do speech at your wedding? Well, I'll think of that later. Well, maybe start thinking. It's the answer is definitely Zach and Maddie yeah, after yeah. this conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, because they called us and they were like, "Have your engagement so we can have party, so we can have ours." We're like, yeah. oh, we probably won't have one. Go ahead. Oh no, you'd have to do it. You only get one chance. <gasps> you definitely have to do it. Well, we got we got engaged like a year ago. So. Oh, so? you're so going to do it. True. But what, are you okay over there, Sophie? Well, I'm sad. I'm like, you got to do it, dude. If they don't want to. We have a few. We could have an ultimate party that covers like oh, yeah, you housewarming do that. twice. <laughs> housewarming twice, birthdays, birthdays. And engagement, yeah. hens, bucks. Maybe we have the ultimate and party. just seven hours of speeches. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's so many you have to get through. Meanwhile, there are strippers just in the yeah. background <laughs> while you're doing those different rooms for different parties. And like yeah. people yeah. eating yeah. steaks and the girls yeah. wearing feathery oh. things around their necks and shit. Do a tour to fridge, but it's like tour to every party I should have had over the last five years. That's Ooh. good. That's fun. Yeah. What, and you go to the places you used to live in? <laughs> it's no. like rock up house there. for the last now place I've ever had. <laughs> you rock up to the house and like, hey, do you mind if we just, you know. You rock up to the wedding great. venue. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Poppet is very good at keeping things low key. What's this? Poppet is very good at keeping things low key and simple. I respect What does it. that mean? It's like you don't make a big fuss about things. Do you really not know what low key and simple means? No, but what is he <laughs> referencing? What is he referencing? Your, Your chill, existence. Your chillness about oh, marriage okay, and like I think this plan. End it now, he Jordan. said, okay, what was he referring to? Look at the first word. Pop it. Yeah. That's Maybe. what he's referring to. That's this how, this that's how it's sentence. Sentence. Keeping things low key. So he's saying, I'm good at keeping my wedding. No one knows about it. Yes, it's just everything. It's things, that's a general term, Jordan. Okay, yeah. it's like, not I kind specific. of forgot that you got engaged, but because you don't talk about it. Whereas Zach and Maddie, I'm never going to forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Oh, I'm engaged, yeah. lol. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. They've posted more about it than you ever did in like it's three very seconds. very true. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, fair enough. So that's what that's what it means. You're low-key. Low key I simple. am low-key. And I think Chill. that it's great that you found someone who is also happy to be low key and simple yeah, as well. Because, like, not not to be sexist, but I don't think as many women would be as happy to keep an engagement as low key as you as, as you mm. are. Yeah. Oh well, that's well, damn. Nothing well, ever then. good comes after not to be sexist. But I got away with yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> <That was, laughs> not to be you sexist. You embraced my asshole clench. You know, like that. Oh, but you got it. You did get away with it. Yeah, oh. it's like I don't want to sound racist, but you're yeah. like, oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. nothing good coming. Poppet is being low key about being that low key. That's so true. <laughs> Whoa, dude, that's Whoa. I don't even know what low key means. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> true. Yeah. What's low key? Bruh. I don't even do this dim lighting, dude. I'm too Yo, simple to understand simplicity. Well, I do have a question. Oh, oh on, button! Man. It's the Poppet One question of the week. What on, Bob? Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I was wondering, do you think you would just get depressed if you were in a vegetarian tribe? 
No. No. Wouldn't that be shit and boring? What, being a vegetarian? Isn't so your like mum a vegan? Let's say you're back in the day and you're in a tribe, right? Isn't the hype part of the day like getting the animal dead? Oh, you mean specifically mm. being in a tribe? Yes. I don't know. I haven't been in one before. Like a vegetarian hunter-gatherer society. Yeah, imagine being a hunter-gatherer society, but you're vegetarian. Well, it's just gathering, isn't it? Would you just get yeah. depressed? To get no. to hunt. hunt an apple. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just all <laughs> gathering then. Yeah, you're in a gathering, gathering society. I think... You could become depressed if it was a solo venture, but the fact that you have community around you all on the same page, choosing to do that actively, you would get on board as well and you would all have a good time. I think you'd get used to it. It's a bit of a logical response to the question. We (laughs) usually get angry at him, so I don't know what that's But where's a good time? What's Yeah, but just like, imagine you just pick the dopest mushroom and then you eat it and you don't die. You'd be like, yeah! Let's go! You're like, rain dance now for the farm. Yeah, I was just thinking there needs to be a bit of spice in life a lot of the time there's a lot of plants that also are drugs mm. oh yeah they could have a good time yeah. gathering you could gather some dope ass drugs like peyote cactus and stuff and like wow. you know mm. you eat, eat that I shit up and go. then you're not like yay we kill the deer you just be like yay I met God yeah. like you, yeah. you'll probably have a good time is that what the burning bushes yeah do you reckon like some marijuana I think people were doing a lot of drugs when they wrote the religious texts yeah yeah I feel like it, it uh, makes you feel like you know the God. burning bush that's pretty specific Burning bush. What was the bush? Burning. Moving. I think we've ended this podcast. The dimly lit has caught up to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah. I think we'd all be okay with being vegetarian tribe members. I think that you'd either get used to it, or I don't. Oh, yeah, it'd just be fine. Yeah, okay. Well, and you enough. don't know what you got either. Like if you don't yeah, have it, yeah. then you're not missing it. No, and no, imagine you'd you be know. friends with all the animals too. <gasps> Because yeah. they wouldn't run away from you anymore because you wouldn't eat them. Like you, when we were down south the other week, yeah. we're just sitting in the park. The birds are like coming down to eat around us. Yeah. I felt like one with nature. It, they'd be pissed if I ate one of them. Yeah, they'd be like, can you not do that? We were sitting in an orchard. Do rabbits so and sheep so hang so out? Do they hang out? Yeah, yeah, they go to the bar together and have beers. I don't think I was, animals are like social with each other so much. No, like, do they know what's a threat and what's not? Yeah, they do. They, they tolerate each other. So, like, the rabbit can, like, jump on the sheep and the sheep's like, <laughs> why would it do that? But then yeah. the humans come along. Yeah, no, that does happen quite a lot. Because then, because I went to a farm, right? And then the sheep see me and then like, they just all run. Yeah, because they're looking for rabbits. <laughs> it's because <laughs> you're an apex predator, Jordan. That's, that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah, they, they know that a rabbit is not an apex predator. If only they but knew the rabbit Jordan, also knows know. a sheep, isn't it? It would yes. be like all Correct. of them, like quokkas, don't get scared of us because we are not an apex predator, quokkas. And they didn't learn that. So oh, it's ingrained in their the brain. Animals yeah, would... they, they do know what everything so is. So if someone looked as like not a human enough, maybe sheep would if not be scared would... of them. If you were in a sheep costume and they were buying it. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Let's just say you Trojan were born horse. deformed as hell. <sighs> I think they, they know your smell and they oh. know, like they know what a person is pretty well. Okay, okay. It's not like they're like, because I don't think like sheep are like, racist or something because you don't look like the people they know yeah yeah, yeah. They, they they just know a, a human or like an unknown thing because like if you think about it like when we were doing this camping thing i realized that as we walk through nature we're like you know when you see the videos of an aerial shot of a shark swimming through a giant school of fish yeah yeah and it's just it's got like, like a bubble around it of, <laughs> yeah. of when nothing wants to come near it yeah we are like that yeah in yes. nature and we're so used to it that when you stop and be one with nature, they start coming back. Yeah. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah. nature. There's actually way more stuff in nature than I think. We just clear a path everywhere we walk and I'm so used to it. Yeah. Like if, if you were a vegetarian tribe, you'd just be like, you know, like you wouldn't like be like a shark white. in a bubble. Yeah. You have a snow white mm-hmm. moment everywhere you yeah. go. Dude, that's literally what I said. We sat, we sat down in the orchard and I was like, if we stop and set up our picnic here. Start singing. <laughs> all the birds will come out. And that's how we got such lit bird watching photos is because they came like... What a sentence. How old are you again? Lit bird watching photos. Dude, bird watching is dope. <laughs> you get around it. I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. Jackson, you would love bird watching. I love, bird watching. I love bird watching. I Have do you it done sometimes. any photography with nah, it? No, no, I haven't tried. But it you sucks when insects that. exist because yeah. I try to do that. try to sit down, chill out and then I just got bit by like fucking bugs yeah i think we had a we had a good time of year i think time of year mm. changes that a lot mm. anyway we should probably wrap this up We've yes done a very good episode. thank you for joining us sophie thanks for having me great times fun games <laughs>